You see this, folks? 2014, a refreshing Coca-Cola reminding everyone about the 2014 World Cup. Well, the ball is bouncing again, and it will begin tomorrow. Of course, Fox and FS1 with all your coverage. I do want to talk about some breaking news that is happening as we speak. Uh, it's good news. Um, a combined bid from the United States, Mexico, and Canada won the hosting rights for the 2026 World Cup today. The three countries will bring the tournament to North America for the first time since 1994. A record profit of $11 billion. This is good business. This World Cup, love it. And that's for FIFA, International Federation of Association of Football, the world soccer governing body. And again, ladies and gentlemen, exciting news for people who love soccer in this country. And you know, Going back to my early days in East Liverpool, the late 70s, early 80s, you know, I was very fortunate to meet a number of folks who came from England to work in the amazing pottery industry as designers. They were true artists and they did incredible work for Hall China and Homer Lachlan, but they had love for soccer. And that truly was my baptism into this great sport. And I have been in love with it ever since. And the World Cup's going to finally get underway tomorrow afternoon. Russia's going to face Saudi Arabia in Moscow. Group A consists of Russia. Uh, Uruguay along with Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Russia has struggled having won just five of their last 26. Saudi Arabia is, well, they have showcased some impressive performances of late, most notably against Germany last Friday as they were all warming up for the World Cup that begins tomorrow afternoon. Saudi Arabia is the lowest ranked team to qualify for the tournament, although they are now ranked 67th, three places above Russia. So don't miss the 2018 World Cup beginning tomorrow afternoon from Moscow, Russia, and Saudi Arabia. Fox and FS1 with all your coverage. Folks, have a great day from your Pratt Pack. Good afternoon.